With the debut of iOS 15 was also the announcement of the public beta which is about to get released in a couple of weeks, sometimes during July. So I'm going to go ahead and get you up to speed if you want to be a part of that public beta. And so, since this is iOS 15, here are 15 most useful features you should definitely utilize as soon as you get access to it. Now keep in mind you do run the risk of possibly damaging or breaking your device. So I'm pretty sure you know the risks when it's on a public beta, but from my first hand experience, uh, I'm always able to restore in case something goes wrong, but there is risks. Now with that disclosure said, let's get started. Starting off with Safari. It's a love hate type of thing. Over time, I got used to it. So yes, the search bar is down here now. So this is where you will enter the URL or enter like questions and stuff you have to ask to Google. But a cool thing is that you can now swipe between different tabs just like this. So the new gestures are here. In addition to that, if there's a link or something you wanna quickly paste, you clearly click and drag it, go to the home menu, go on your notes, create a new note and drop it. And of course this works on other document platforms like if you're trying to tweet out a tweak, sharing a link or something on Facebook, you could do that as well, just like that. Then in iMessage, if you're a part of a group chat or a friend or somebody sends a bunch of photos Notice how they're nicely organized now, but in addition to that, you can save them all right here instead of having to save them one by one, saving a lot of time right there. Now, Do Not Disturb has been, yes, it's true, renamed to Focus. Now, the Focus app allows you to have different categories for different type of little focuses, so Do Not Disturb is still here, and if you tap the little icon right here, you have additional settings, but if you tap on settings itself, it's gonna take it to the settings, and here, is where you could actually customize it more. So if there's like an app or a person in particular you want to still be able to get a hold of you, you could enter their information like that, as well as include some third party apps like your security and such, like important apps. You really wanna know what's happening if a notification does come through. And then of course you have different categories for like driving, personal, sleep, work, and if you tap the plus icon on top, you could actually customize even gaming too. And fitness, actually, that's really cool too. But custom, of course, you can name it whatever you want, pick whatever image you want, icon you want it to be a part of, and then personalize it by schedule, location, and etc. Now, if you open up the health app, you can actually share your health reports, like your health information was like fam relatives, uh, friends and such, people you really feel comfortable or maybe they're concerned about your overall health and you want to share that information with them, you could totally do so now if you go into the health app and just tap on the new sharing tab right below here. Here, click on here, just follow the on-screen instructions, enter your contact information, they'll receive it and they'll be able to accept and deny and they could track basically your overall activities, your sleeping habits and all that good stuff basically. Now if you open up the wallet app, Apple Pay actually got some very helpful to, um, new features. As a fine example, if you actually have the Apple credit card, you could tap the little number icon right here, it will use Face ID to unlock, but this will allow you to see your credit card information like numbers, expiration date and all that stuff to make those online transactions a lot more easier. It's easier to find them previously. In addition to that, if you scroll on top, you now have Apple Card Family. This allows you to share your credit card, hopefully they're responsible, with your family member. So if you have a family plan or family account, I should say, with your Apple ID, you can now do that. In addition to that, if you tap the plus icon, this is how you will, of course, add a new credit card or debit card, but now there is transit cards. So if you take like a daily, a public commuter, you can add that right here. So you can literally scan it just off your phone. Now an extremely helpful feature is can be found on the photo app. Now whenever you click on a photo that has text, like you quickly took a picture of a document, a sign, you can literally click on the text and copy so you can paste it somewhere else if you need. And if you're unsure what you can highlight, you can just tap this little icon all the time. And then if you scroll down, you can actually adjust the date and time of when the photo was taken. So you can literally take it back a day or so if you need to, as well as adjust the time right here the date that was taken, the time that was taken. Then the camera app itself also got a nifty helpful update to video mode and you start recording. You can now do the pinch and zoom just like you would like on Snapchat or Instagram. Now as soon as class or other meetings resume back to their normal schedule pre-COVID, uh, voice memos got a new update. If you launch the app, now whenever you click on a previous voice memo, there's now this new edit tool. This not only allows you to increase the sp speed rate, 
of the voice memo so you can hear it a lot quicker you can actually allow it to automatically skip the silence so if there's like pauses of just silence this will actually skip it so you can actually finish and listen to the voice memo much more quicker saving you a lot of time just like a podcast and you can also enhance the recording so if there's a lot of background noise you can always enhance it and see if that works now if we go ahead and lock our lock screen you have spotlight search access right here now you no longer have to unlock your what your phone i mean and slide down to have access to spotlight you can just do it off the lock screen saving you a couple of seconds now while we're at the home screen if you enter wiggle mode by just doing that tap the plus icon there is two well, there's actually a few but two very helpful widgets the first one is to find my so if you use a lot of the apple air tags you can literally add your favorite item right here that you need to track on a daily basis to the home page just like so it's still in the beta but right now these are little shortcuts hopefully by the time you're watching this video this is fixed another helpful widget that they added well to the right person is game center so just like a gaming console you can see who's online and such so if you see your buddy online you can quickly just hop into their match and play with them then the translation app now there actually is a conversation mode which basically allows you to use this was two people so face to face so you can literally place your phone like on a table they have the mic icon on their end and you have yours on the other end and you both can communicate with, with each other depending on the language you're, you two are speaking oh and then silly me how can i forget the magnify glass is now back yes this i think has been gone since ios 13 it's now back now you can actually get the exact point of the text where you want to drop this little line in to edit. And if you use FaceTime, you can now share custom links. This means you can share this link to a user who's using a Windows computer or an Android device. So if you want to have a quick FaceTime call with a non-iPhone user or Apple user, you can send them custom links right here. And then when you're using FaceTime or another app that actually uses the microphone, Bring on the control center and here you see the mic mode tap on this and right now by default it's going to be on standard but you could do voice isolation if you need to eliminate some of the background noise which is really interesting and then you also got the wide spectrum as well anywho those were the 15 total new features that i'm sure everyone will take advantage of and get the most out of this newly upcoming ios 15 update again Beta comes available sometimes in your life. No exact date just yet, but keep an eye on the video description down below. I'll try to update it as soon as an official date by Apple has been said. Now, if you got some good, useful information out of this video, greatly appreciate if you guys actually leave this video a like. Those help me out a lot. Get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos very similar to this. If you'd like to see more, check out this video over here. Is that is a video? that I nearly hurt myself making as that is a one wheel. If you're interested to find out more about these contractions, click on it and watch because these things are absolutely amazing. And then that video over there, that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.